Finally, he's going to fix the lock on the door. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm just waiting. No, I'm waiting. Actually, when I said finally you're sitting, I was talking to my camera because I'm doing a video. Oh, what a horrific nightmare this has been. This guy knows what he's doing. He was talking about uh, buying a camper and leaving town going to the States. He's uh, closed part of his business down because so many people were after him, so he's been hiding out. He hasn't been going to his store. And I was listening to the phone conversations and stuff that was going on. I was sitting at the store listening to people telling me what has been done to them. This guy has been stealing from everybody. He sells stuff that is not even running properly, shouldn't be sold to people. He's bought, he takes used parts and puts them on. You should see all the crimes he's committing. Just non-stop. He's just been robbing everybody. Everybody. He's dangerous. Okay, thank you. So the police said they're sending somebody over. I'm at the end of my wits here. I mean, I've spent so much money on this guy, and all I asked for is my, a vehicle to, pull, to carry my wheelchair around in. And he tells me this vehicle can do it that I bought off of him, and it can't carry my wheelchair. He, I paid for everything in advance, hoping that he would do the work and do things, and he never did. He stole my, all my stuff, he stole my money. Even when I bought the vehicle, he charged me taxes on it, and he wasn't allowed to, and he says, he'll pay me back the taxes, he never did. I paid $2,000 for, for uh, lithium-ion batteries like eight months ago, never got the batteries. I paid for, uh, for a headrest, I paid for all kinds of stuff, and I never got the stuff. And then he's, he's claiming he's done a whole bunch of work for me. He's done not very little. This guy's nothing but a big crook. I gotta make sure I get him on video because my camera ran out of uh, battery power at the wrong time. If he turns around, I'll zoom in because I have to have a good picture of him. I don't have one. He says this is his wife's car. 28 Potter Mill Road, Waverly, Nova Scotia. That's where he does his crooked business out of. It's 
not bright enough. The license plate on the car is FL and 315. Unfortunately, the trailer that I'm building, which is right here, which I've been working on all week, it needs to have the lights wired on. The lights are already on it. The ramp needs to be finished on the back, and it's not. I built this thing out of desperation because I needed a place, a way to get my wheelchair out of here. And, um, well, I don't have any way to get any of my wheelchairs out of here. He's got three of them in here. And they're all in different uh, conditions, but my Magic Mobility wheelchair, which is really expensive, is drivable. But I have no way to get it out of here because he usually drives a minivan. And this is the minivan here. I don't know if you will see because it's so dark. But this is the minivan he usually drove. Can't see it. And uh, my, my uh, wheelchair doesn't fit in it. So, so that's what he told me. So my wheelchair has been sitting in his warehouse for three months, or if not longer. All three of my wheelchairs are in there. I'm just going to turn off my camera to take a picture of this car.